Wrestling Mart is the world's largest wrestling retail showroom and online store with superior customer service and expansive selection of wrestling products for wrestlers of all ages and levels. Wrestling shoes, headgear, singlets, mouth guards, apparel, mat tape, cleaning supplies, and more from all the top brands. Wrestling Mart is fully staffed by former elite wrestlers that will help you hand select the perfect gear. Come and shop the world's largest wrestling retail showroom. Visit us online or call to speak to a wrestling expert. Wrestling Mart, all wrestling, all the time. And welcome back to the next uh, episode of The Legend Chronicles. Uh, glad you're with us. Uh, we're glad to be here. Uh, I'm Larry Nugent. We have Bobby Douglas and Wayne Bachman, icons of the sport. And today's theme, today's theme is the great college teams. Now, i got to put a little caveat in there. Uh, we'd like to go through all the Division II and Division III teams because there's been some really great ones. We may touch on some of those as we go through the discussion. Well, we're going to focus on the, the ones that we're most close to, the Division I teams. And uh, you might not like it for that reason, but uh, that'd be what it is as it may. Uh, we're here at the beautiful Wrestling Mart showcase, showroom, largest in the world. you got to come here if you're ever in Southern California. And you know that uh, if you go to the Legend Chronicles at the end of this and you buy the next version of this, the 25-minute after show, uh, they'll be sending you an equipment package. Uh, I think it's three Wrestling Mart socks. They're very cool. Anyway, let's get into this college wrestling, best college wrestling teams, guys. And I think I know where we're going to go first, uh, Oklahoma State. And we've got a cowboy right here. So talk a little bit about uh, they have such a long legacy and a pretty current one as well. Well, my association with uh, Oklahoma State started in 1965. Um, and I, I don't have fond memories of 1965 because we had uh, dominated the collegiate scene in dual meets. I think we went undefeated. Uh, I think we beat Iowa State by 20 points and they were ranked second. And uh, we went to the national tournament as the number one seeded uh, team going into the national tournament. And uh, I was seeded number one, and unfortunately I got a concussion in the very first match wrestling a, a wrestler from Southern Illinois by the name of Dan DeVito. Uh, don't know exactly what happened, but I caught a knee in the head, and I never really remembered finishing the match. Uh, when I woke up, it was my birthday, and uh, the tournament was uh, was in the it was the final day of the tournament, and um, I've heard the story many times, and uh, it was um, something that uh, I've never really gotten over because we lost the national tournament by one point, and uh, had I been able to wrestle one more match, we Oklahoma State would have won the national tournament, and. Uh, uh, unfortunately, the Cyclones were able to win the tournament, and we... Uh, that hurts, doesn't it, Bobby? It's yeah, very... I can tell that after all these years, that still hurts. That's some serious passion. Uh, and uh, to keep this thing rolling, you just have to move down to Norman, maybe to find the second greatest college wrestling team. Well, I, of course, that's arguably, um, up until 1980, uh, that would definitely be true. Uh, very quickly, uh, we had a team that uh, we went in, probably ranked second or third in the NCAAs, won it by three points, and that was the year that our team manager actually placed third in the NCAAs Great story. and won the championship. I blew it that year, so you know, if we hadn't won, I would have probably been definitely suicidal. <laughs> uh, but uh, anyway, Tom Edgar came through for us, so that was, you know, certainly we only won by three points, so we couldn't be considered the greatest team, but we were, that was one of the greatest victories. Sure, and then, you know, we probably got to stay in the Midwest and move up to Iowa State, those Harold Nichols teams. Well, I, uh, I wish we could make this segment go on longer because, you know, it really brings up the best of our sport, some of the great competitions, the great teams. Uh, we want to thank you for joining us for the Legend Chronicles segment on Takedown TV. Uh, make sure you go to thelegendchronicles.com to finish. We're going to keep this story going. We've got a lot more to talk about. 
So, and you're gonna get an equipment package from Wrestling Mart if you, if you go there and sign up and come out and, and join the conversation. Thank you for being with us. For Wayne Bachman, for Bobby Douglas, I'm Larry Nugent. See you down the line. Women's wrestling has become a huge part of so many lives, and the National Registry for Wrestling needs your help for it to continue to grow. You see this confidence about yourself. I'm able to just approach situations and just have the understanding that I can do that because I believe in myself, and wrestling taught me that. It's changed me as a person. It's given me confidence, and it's made me tougher. I'm Adeline Gray. My name is Helen Morales. Register at nr4w.com. nr4w.com. Wrestling for our women of today, tomorrow, and forever.